أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل للمخلفين من الأعراب ستدعون إلى قوم أولي بأس شديد تقاتلونهم أو يسلمون فإن تتيوا يؤتكم الله أجرا حسنا وإن تتولوا كما توليتم قبل يعذبكم عذابا أليما Tell those desert nomads who had purposely stayed behind. Eventually, you are going to be called up to fight a people who are of a great might in warfare. You will fight them unless they surrender. Then, if you obeyed, Allah will give you an awesome reward. However, if you turn away as you turned away before, He will punish you with a painful punishment. ليس على الآمى حرج ولا على الآرز حرج ولا على المريض حرج ومن يطع الله ورسوله يدخله جنات تجري ما تحتها الأنهار ومن يتولى يعذبه عذابا أليما There will be no blame however on the blind and no blame on the disabled and no blame on the sick if they do not actively participate in the fighting And whoever obeys Allah and his messenger, he will admit him into paradise through which rivers flow. But whoever turns away in disobedience, he will punish him with a painful punishment. لقد رضي الله عن المؤمنين إذ يبايعونك تحت الشجرة فعلم ما في قلوبهم فأزل السكينة عليهم وأثابهم فتحا قريبا. Indeed, Allah was pleased with the believers when they were pledging allegiance to you, O the Prophet, under the tree, while the fate of your emissary was still in question. And he knew well what was in their hearts of sincerity and loyalty, so he sent down the spirit of tranquility and assurance upon them and rewarded them with news of an imminent upcoming victory. <laughs> وكان الله عزيزا حكيما and spoils of war in abundance that they were to capture and Allah is always mighty all wise وعدكم الله مغانم كثيرة تأخذونها فتعجل لكم هذه وكف أيدي الناس عاكم ولتكون آية للمؤمنين ويهديكم سراطا مستقيما Allah has promised you many more spoils of war in abundance from the upcoming conquest that you will capture. Thus he has hastened this victory and spoils for you and restrained the hands of hostile people against you. This happened so that this may be a sign of divine help for the believers and that he may guide you all along a straight path in which you should rely on him. and entrust your affairs to him. وَأُخْرَى لَمْ تَقْدِرُوا عَلَيْهَا قَدْ أَحَاتَ اللَّهُ بِهَا وَكَانَ اللَّهُ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرًا There are many other spoils of war to come which are not within your power to achieve yet Allah has accomplished them for you and Allah is powerful over everything. وَلَوْ قَاتَلَكُمُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لَوَلَّوْا الْأَدْبَارَ ثُمَّ لَا يَجِدُونَ وَلِيًّا وَلَا نَصِيرًا And if those who disbelieve should ever fight you, they would certainly have turned their backs and run away. Then they would have neither found an ally nor a helper to rescue them. سُنَّةَ اللَّهِ الَّتِي قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلُ وَلَا تَجِدَ لِسُنَّةِ اللَّهِ تَبْدِيلًا Such has been Allah's practice with all those who passed away before, and you will never find any change in Allah's such practice. وَهُوَ الَّذِي كَفَّ أَيْدِيَهُمْ عَاكُمْ وَأَيْدِيَكُمْ عَنْهُمْ بِبَطْنِ مَكَّةَ مِنْ بَعْدِ أَنْ أَسْفَرَكُمْ عَلَيْهِمْ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ بَصِيرًا And it is He who restrained their hostile hands against you, and restrained your hands against them in the valley of Makkah. Thereafter, 
He gave you victory over them, and Allah has been always watchful of whatever you do. هم الذين كفروا وصدوكم عن المسجد الحرام والهدي معكوفا أن يبلغ محلة ولولا رجال مؤمنون ونساء مؤمنات لم تعلموهم أن تتوهم فتسيبكم منهم معرة بغير علم ليدخل الله في رحمته من يشاء لو تزيلوا لعذبنا الذين كفروا منهم عذابا أليما الله تفيدت ذم because they were the ones who disbelieved and barred you from visiting the grand sacred masjid for worshipful presence and prevented your sacrificial animals from reaching their rightful place in Mina. And had there not been some believing males and believing females living in Mecca, of whom you were not aware of because they were hiding their faith, you might have trampled them and on whose account you would have inadvertently incurred a sense of guilt. But this was not done so that Allah may admit into his mercy whoever he willed. Had they, believers and disbelievers, been clearly separated from one another, then we would have certainly punished those who disbelieved with a painful punishment. اجعل الذين كفروا في قلوبهم الحمية حمية الجاهلية فأزل الله سكينته على رسوله وعلى المؤمنين وعلى المؤمنين وألزمهم كلمة التقوى وكانوا حق بها وأهلها وكان الله بكل شيء عليما When those who disbelieved fostered a fury in their hearts the fury of the time of paganism So Allah sent down His spirit of tranquility and assurance upon His Messenger Muhammad and upon the believers, and truce was made on the condition that the believers would return the following year for the pilgrimage, and made binding on them to uphold the spirit of Allah consciousness, for they were more deserving of it and more worthy of it than were the disbelievers. And Allah is always fully aware of everything. لَقَدْ صَدَقَ اللَّهُ رَسُولَهُ الرُّؤْيَا بِالْحَقِّ لَتَدْخُلُنَّ الْمَسْجِدَ الْحَرَامَ إِنَا شَاءَ اللَّهُ آمِنِينَ مُحَلِّقِينَ رُؤُوسَكُمْ وَمُقَسِّدِينَ لَا تَخَافُونَ فَعَلِمْ مَا لَمْ تَعْلَمُوا فَجَعْلَ مِنَا دُونِ ذَلِكَ فَتْحَا قَرِيبًا Indeed, Allah made the dream of His Messenger Muhammad come true. that you will soon enter the grand sacred masjid in security, Allah willing. Some of you will have heads shaven and others hair shortened and no longer in fear of humiliation and persecution. Thus, he knew of the truths at Hudaybiyah, which you did not know. And besides that, he granted you an imminent victory as well. هو الذي أرسل رسوله بالهدى ودين الحق ليدهره على الدين كله وكفى بالله شهيدا It is he who has assigned his messenger Muhammad with the guidance, the Quran, and the religion of truth, Islam, to make it prevail over every other religion, all of it. And Allah is sufficient as a witness. محمد رسول الله والذين معه أشداء وعلى الكفار رحماء بينهم تراهم ركا سجدا يبتغون فضلا من الله يبتغون فضلا من الله ورزوانا سيماهم في وجوههم من أثر السجود ذلك مثلهم في التوراة ومثلهم في الإنجيل كَزَرٍ أَخْرَجَ شَتْأَهُ فَآزَرَهُ فَاسْتَغْلَدَ فَاسْتَوَى عَلَى سُوقِهِ يُوجِبُ الزُّرَّ عَلِيَغِيذَ بِهِمُ الْكُفَّارِ وَعَدَ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ مِنْهُمْ مَغْفِرَةً وَأَجْرًا عَظِيمًا Muhammad is the messenger of Allah and those who are with him are firm and unyielding against the disbelievers but compassionate among themselves. You will see them kneeling down and prostrating themselves in prayers, 
seeking Allah's grace and his approval. Their foreheads bear the marks from the traces of prostration. Such is their likeness in the Torah, and their likeness in the Injil is like a sown seed that sprouts its shoots, then it strengthens, then it grows stout, then stands firmly on its stem. A sight pleasing to the farmers. However, such firm belief enrages the disbelievers. But Allah promises forgiveness and a great reward to those of them who believe and practice righteousness. <laughs>